Welcome to my YouTube channel, Love for Intuitive Astrology. Today I'm going to talk about the month of February 2021 for the sign of Gemini. So if you have your sun, your moon or your rising sign in Gemini, then please keep watching this video. But before we continue, I would like to announce that I'm going to give a free reading away for a, a one hour reading. And how can you win this? You just have to leave a comment, write in the comment, win a reading, the comment, whatever you want to share with, with other fellow Geminis, with me. Uh, just leave a comment and also subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, no worries. You can just leave the comments. I'm just so grateful for this quick support. I started my YouTube channel this year and it's been growing and I'm really, really happy about it and to share my skills and to help you in your daily life. So Gemini, let's move on and see what uh, February has in store for you. So when we start this month, we have so many planets in Aquarius and this is happening for you in your ninth house. And the ninth house is really about believing in something bigger than yourself. So this is religion. This is about, you know, globalization, seeing the world as one, different cultures, languages, studying, philosophy, philosophizing, whatever you want to talk about. Um, that's all related to the ninth house. And, you know, this is really have a focus in your life at this time. And, um, and there's also the sun is expanding together with Jupiter. So you have Jupiter in its own house transiting, uh, you know, because the ninth house is ruled by Jupiter, the planet of knowledge. So you really, it's a great time to study something. And we have a Mercury retrograde until the 21st of February. So it could be that you're like um, studying something that you thought about before. Because with retrograde, it's not ideal to start something new. But you could definitely revise a subject or study a subject that you've thought about before. Like you're like, I used to want to do this, but I never done that. I really want to do that now. So that's, that's great timing now, Gemini, to do that. And you know, we have these beautiful planets all together in Aquarius. You want to break free. You want to see peace in the world. You know, it's almost like you feel really um, you feel in alignment all, uh, almost with the world and you want it to be a better place and you're going to be the one commenting on social media saying, listen, things need to change. Maybe you're starting some humanitarian cause, goals. You want to do something to add something to the planet, you know, something that will change what is happening and what's going on right now or you just want to talk about it with people. And you want to solve it. You want to, you know, talk about it. Maybe you, you're teaching something or some solutions that are going on. That's really something you're up to. And after this major transformation that you're, you've been going through, this is really, uh, you feel more calm. You feel more ready. But there's still part of you that wants to understand what's going on globally and where you fit as a person on, on this planet, you know? And um, if this all is sounds very beautiful, but during this new moon, we're actually going to have a little bit of a trigger and uh, it's all these planets in Aquarius. Um, we have a new moon in Aquarius on the 11th of February and they're squaring Mars in the 12th house. So we're having two very spiritual houses. The ninth house really has to do with culture and faith and the 12th house is really something we're not in control of. This is really everything behind the scenes, everything behind closed doors. So um, things that were hidden will show itself to you. And it's almost like maybe some of you would have some paranormal experiences that will really change your mind about what you believed before. Um, but some of you also have a hard time resting, you know, because Mars in the 12th house gives you less energy. And you might want to, you know, relax, sit down, read something, expand 
your knowledge, expand everything, you know, like, <laughs> like uh, with everything, I don't mean your figure, <laughs> but with the Jupiter in the ninth house, you're safe. But really, this Mars is really triggering these feelings. You might almost get in a fight with someone about your beliefs. I believe this, I believe that, you know, just one thing, don't start any guru stuff, scams you know just if you teach something it's for the greater good okay <laughs> and then we have uh the whole bunch in aquarius trining your north node in the first house so um the north node in the first house first house is really telling you to um look at your own individuality so this uh, faithfulness, this uh, maybe you start a new religion or you're following a new spiritual group and they start defining your new individuality. You know, you may have started yoga, you may have watched documentaries, you may have traveled far away if it was possible for you. And you feel that this new cycle that you've been going through is defining you as a new person you're not the same anymore and people just don't understand what's going on with you gemini they're like hello like where's the old the, my old friend my old partner there it's just not there you've been through so much that right now you you are fresh you are new and this triggers you this new moon is going to trigger you to let go of everything that's not necessary anymore okay and then we have this full moon in virgo and uh, virgo for you is in your fourth house so this has to do with your family this has to do everything related to that so you could have uh, something going on with your mother and um I definitely think this is not something bad. Uh, we don't have any really bad connections. So um, it's trining Uranus and Uranus for you is in the 12th house. So there might be some, you know, some things that popping up related to your mother, females in your life. Maybe you're living with a female, with a woman, you know, partner, uh, flatmates, doesn't matter. And there needs to be something resolved uh, but also you might talk about certain ideas or things you haven't talked about together. It can go two ways. Could be negative, could be positive. Because with Uranus, it's always unexpected. So I definitely can't tell if it's bad or good. You have to figure it out for yourself. <laughs> you know, during this full moon in Virgo. So uh, yeah, Virgo is definitely really into the details. So it could be like, you didn't do the dishes but I did this for you, but you did that for me. Try to not let it <laughs> let it come this far, but yeah, definitely. Um, it could be uplifting. It could be you want to create something together. You want to change something in the house. You want to make something prettier. You want to try new games at home. You want to create something that's all fine. Just don't buy new electronics during Mercury retrograde. I can't say it enough. Gemini, let's get you some cards. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, something with documents, okay? There is something with documents, money related. I'm getting manage your resources wisely. So really you have to start budgeting. Uh, what do you want to spend? What you don't want to spend? Where do you spend it on? And if you have a lot of money, you know, uh, help some of the other people that are going through different times. So this is you being humanitarian, okay? Um, if you are short of money yourself, it's time to budget. But anything, if you had a court case or some uh, issues with documents or something, there's going to be justice. So I really feel you had to go through some uh government stuff or anything related to papers you had to organize something there's gonna be justice for that okay review review the details carefully you will win in the end so i definitely feel this has a positive outcome uh don't be impatient let it happen um yeah and then we have ego and what i feel with ego is like jupiter in the ninth house has two uh, different um, ways of expressing itself so one way is I know everything listen to me <laughs> and Aquarius else as well can be 
you know, humanitarian, but can also be a little bit arrogant, you know, a, a bit of a know-it-all. So try to stay away from being a know-it-all and be someone that wants to listen, is supportive, you know. It's almost coming from a lack of confidence. So just realize that you are worth what is coming to you. Um, I feel that money could be really fortunate for you now. Um, it really depends on how you play it, but it's definitely time to organize the resources that you have, Gemini. So it's time to get real. Uh, it's time to rest. It's time to surrender. It's time to read books. Mm -hmm. A good person or company to work for. Be assertive. You see, you see someone on a throne. So even uh, it's a king, this could also be, of course, a queen who's watching, a king, a queen. Um, it's time to get organized. I really feel it's time to get organized. Treat yourself, help others. You know, money, I see for the most is going to be beneficial, but make sure if you can spend something on others, on yourself, it's going to make you feel really, really good, you know? Um, it's almost like you're a little bit uncomfortable to be this really uh, confident king or queen, but you don't have to doubt yourself. Like, I feel some doubts have been happening, and those doubts really stopped you from getting what you want. Like, I have here some... Uh, cards that are imaginative cards imaginative wow <laughs> and you know what i see here is again someone in luxury you see someone is in luxury someone's looking at themselves so it's time to look in the mirror am i being in integrity with myself that's very important and am i taking the right steps in the right direction i i have a feeling you need to get your grounding right your documents need to be well so if you need to revise something do so that's something you could do with during mercury retrograde is revising stuff it's not really initiating new things um but it's going to work out for you gemini it's going to work out for you uh you see i transform this has been you for for a long time and you know i i watch it then i see the number 20 uh so on the 20th of february there might be something happening for you that's going to transform you into the person you need to be okay uh, there might also be a scorpio in your life that's going to transform you in one way or another good way bad way jupiter return so we talk about a lot about Jupiter because it's very prominent for you, uh, Gemini. So for some of you, it could be a Jupiter return. And this literally means that it's going back to where Jupiter was when you were uh, born. So this is a very beneficial time for you, if that's the case. You know, this is for women a very good time to meet someone prominent. It also could expand... Uh, your business, your money, your knowledge. It really depends where is your Jupiter in your natal chart. But um, yeah, soak up knowledge. Uh, don't let it get too high up in your intellect, you know. But I feel in general, um, it's going to be a good time for you. Um, we have the sun in Pisces in the 10th house. So you're definitely going to be more seen in your career um we do have some neptune still in the 10th house so you're very magnetic very dreamy you're really capable of creating a lot uh, right now like creativity is on tops your spirituality is really uh you know a lot of things in your mm, work are based on your intuition uh, which is not always very common for you gemini but you do have more intuition than you think but it's more like you're reflecting it in like a almost like a channel you know it's like information coming through and you're talking and you've been talking and then you don't realize where it came from that's you right now like with uranus in the 12th house you're getting a lot of information and you're not always sure where it's coming from but this is what i have for you you know don't forget to subscribe to my channel and be in the process of winning this reading you can also book a reading with me because this is a general reading and it's never as precise as it could be but thank you so much for watching and all the best to you bye bye gemini mm -hmm.